right? Uh, so that, that, that itself gives you pause as to you know, what constitutes nationalism at this point. Is nationalism uh, something that has to do with belonging to Spain? Or is nationalism something has something to do with belonging to uh, colony of So all of these things are very, very unsettled. In any case, uh, this, these are some of the issues that I thresh out in this in uh, initial, initial chapter. Uh, uh, and, and, and I think a, a major theme, especially beginning with, with the end of chapter one, running through chapter two and a few and through uh, chapter three and all, the major theme of the book is the question of revenge. It's the question of revenge. Uh, that what happens is a scenario whereby the illustrados demand recognition, prove their equality to the Spaniards, are met with laughter, derision, rejection, humiliation, and respond with the desire for revenge. Tangin and young. You, know, you make fun of me, I'll make conte, right? And if you read the Fili, for example, the Fili is permeated with the desire for revenge. Simon comes back, right? Because he wants to avenge the death of his father, he wants to avenge the loss of Maria Clara, right? Uh, and there is a sense in which all throughout the early period of national, especially if you read Rizal, you remember Rizal is writing this when he's in his late 20s, right? He finishes the Noli, he's 26, he finishes the Fili, how old is he? In, 19, in 1891, how old is he? Brazil is born in 18, he's 30. He's 30 years old, he finishes the Fili, right? And it's amazing. Uh, and, and uh, you know, the, 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 there is in Rizal, and I think in a lot of, if you read Lopez Jaina, if you read Marcelo H. if you read all these people, there's a very strong sense in which uh, the question of revenge has to do with the elementary experience of justice. Right? This is why revenge is significant. This is why revenge is significant because for most oppressed people, or at least, or certainly for either people who are materially actually oppressed or people who just simply imagine they're oppressed, right? Revenge, getting even, getting back, payback. This idea uh, constitutes for many, uh, as I said, an elementary experience of justice, which is why they always say revenge is sweet, right? Revenge is sweet. Something satisfying about revenge. But of course, the problem with revenge. <coughs> The problem with revenge is that uh, revenge uh, unleashes a process of, uh, you might say, gift and counter gift, of, of giving, right? He can be, can be is to give back, right? Of giving back, uh, it risks a process of exchanging, as it were, violence for violence in an ever escalating fashion to the point that it goes out of control. Right? So you can have a situation like we have in the Middle East today where people are constantly involved in uh, avenging uh, real or imagined uh, losses and uh, it just spirals out of the I think Rizal saw this very clearly, especially towards the end of the film, you know, uh, and so forth and so on. Anyway, so the theme of revenge is very important because the theme of revenge is one of the ways in which a certain kind, to, use, to go back again to Gary's comment, the theme of revenge is a certain it's a certain way in which a certain kind of political of politicization, of radicalization takes place. Right? It's arguable that in many, many, uh, in much in, in much political history, Philippines, but in other places too, uh, that the desire for revenge, the phantasm for revenge, is the initial opening towards a more radical understanding of the forces of oppression, structures of inequality, sources of injustice. Right? At the same time, that it is a very dangerous notion because revenge can very easily lead to a culture of lawlessness right? and uh, to an endless spiraling of violence, both possibilities of which Rizal showed, which is why in the end, right, Simone dies and nothing happens. The movement that he plans fails right? uh, because in a way, it's, it's, it's a way for Rizal of saying, you know, revenge as the basis for revolution may not, in fact, be 